The SR-72 Son of Blackbird was a spy plane planned to reach Mach 6, developed by Lockheed Martin's Skunk Works. Despite promising unmatched speed and potential weaponization with hypersonic missiles, the program faces significant technological and financial hurdles. Questions remain regarding its necessity compared to spy satellites, its ability to evade future defenses, the development of advanced materials, and its overall cost. Despite these challenges, advocates argue that investment should continue to fully evaluate its potential. By all accounts, the SR-72 Son of Blackbird spy plane would be an impressive aircraft. With plans for incredible Mach 6 speeds, unmanned options, and the ability to be armed, possibly with hypersonic missiles, the capabilities are very interesting. This plane can reach anywhere in the world very quickly. However, even with all these advantages, it is worth assessing whether the aircraft is really needed. Could it have been cancelled due to excess spy satellites, technological constraints, or budget cuts? The SR-72 was nicknamed the Son of Blackbird due to its similarity to the SR-71 Blackbird's prowess in intelligence gathering, surveillance and reconnaissance. SR-71 was retired in 1998. Both aircraft were developed by Lockheed Martin's top-secret Skunk Works. The SR-72 still has a long way to go although the hope is that the technology demonstrator could make its first flight in two to four years. It may be another decade before the Air Force can operate them in large numbers. That means the program will require considerable political support from the White House, Pentagon and Congress for a long period of time. In addition, the technology must be more advanced than what the enemy has developed in anti-aircraft capabilities. Yes, if the son of Blackbird can fly at Mach 6, 4,100 miles per hour, it can evade air defenses now, but what about the future? An enemy hypersonic missile or laser might be able to destroy it. Enemy fighters can also speed up to catch the SR-72. The SR-72 must also be able to land at a reasonable speed. And how did it get off the ground? The spy plane would likely have to be launched from the top of another plane, at least initially. High speeds would generate so much heat that a yet-to-be-discovered composite of carbon, ceramic and metal would be needed. Combined cycle scramjet engines are still being developed as well and that is a question mark. Full pricing is unknown at this time, but Lockheed Martin admits the drone's predecessor could cost $1 billion. It is unknown how far the COVID-19 pandemic has pushed back timelines and milestones, or even what those milestones were in the first place. What is the priority now? Propulsion system or airframe? Were both developed simultaneously? If so, it will require more time, money and resources. Its stealth capabilities are also unclear due to the heat generated when flying. This technology should be developed in the next 10 years. We don't know much about the SR-72 at this time. However, the airplane is definitely interesting. The Mach 6 capability alone was enough to approve the project. But many questions still remain. The budget is still unclear. Political will is questionable when you try to predict what will be the trends in the next 10 years. Spy satellites can gather intelligence in a way that makes the SR-72 useless unless the son of Blackbird is armed with its own hypersonic missiles.
However, let's give Son of the Blackbird a chance and postpone judgment for another two to three years. Give the acquisition program at least the time needed to fly the technology demonstrator. Then we'll know whether the SR-72 is promising and can avoid cancellation.